starts with the first juvenile Phillies race of the week. And ace American trainer Wesley Ward bids for a fourth win in the race since 2009. Richard Fahey's Cody Anna improved on her narrow debut defeat at Nottingham when landing Beverly's Hillary Neither stakes earlier this month. Yeah, glory, Cody Anna, far side hits the front, Cody Anna wins it. Clive Cox won this last year with heartache and shades of blue comes here with a similar profile having won on her only career start over course and distance from a subsequent duel winner of William Haggis's Queen of Bermuda. Satisfying, come on Lester, here's Shades of Blue bursting through under Kirby, Shades of Blue on the near side is dashing clear in the closing stages, an impressive turn of foot. Curious is in the same ownership as last season's winner Heartache and this Henry Candy trained half-sister to pre Delabi winner Tangerine Trees made no mistake on debut at Sandown, the front two pulling over three lengths clear of the third. Curious and heartwarming, good result for the Hot to Drop Racing Club, Curious sees off heartwarming. John Quinn's well-bred Signora Cabello has won two of her three career starts to date, including in listed company at York last month with several of today's rivals in the ring. Navi in the pale blue, trading blows with no Letty, to Finia and under the fence, Koshi Banama. Then Evangeline Samos and Signora Cabello as they come deep inside the last furlong. De Finia on the near side in the red and yellow has moved through. In the centre, Signora Cabello with the red sleeves picking up strongly and she noses ahead, beginning to assert Signora Cabello goes on to win. Aidan O'Brien has won four of the last eight renewals of the Queen's Vase, and whilst the lightly raced Southern France heads the market of his four runners, Nelson is the highest rated and was only an eck behind the Derby third, roaring line in last year's Group 2 Royal Lodge Stakes. Last season's winning trainer John Galston saddles the unexposed lightly raced stream of stars. He was a ready winner of his maiden here last month, with the third that day winning on his next start. Stream of stars, the son of See the Stars, strides clear in the hands of Frankie de Tori. The consistent King's Proctor has yet to finish out of the place in four starts since winning his maiden at Nottingham in November, including a third in the listed Chester Vaz, and bids to give his trainer, Mark Johnston, a record equaling eighth success in the race. Q Gardens has been disappointing so far this season, but was a good winner of the listed Zetland Stakes over 10 furlongs at Newmarket as a two-year-old on good ground. And a combination today's trip and going. Still Ryan on Q Gardens is holding him at the moment. Uphill towards the line now. Graffiti Master and DXB second and third, but Q Gardens is pulling away. Kew Gardens has won. Um, Gored is seen here finishing a good second at Salisbury on debut in extremely testing conditions, has since broken his dub in a Chepstone novice, and John Goldston will know exactly what he's doing with this half-brother to his top-class filly, Tegruda. Hydrangea has a couple of Group 1s to her name, including here in October when landing the Kipco British champion Phillies and Mares stakes over four furlongs further than she encounters today. It's from the far side, Hydrangea. Batiel is half a length down. Coronet running on in third. And Hydrangea, she's getting the trip marvellously well. And Hydrangea sees it out to win the Phillies and Mares. Al Jazzy was beaten only three quarters of a length by a proven Group 1 performer in last season's renewal and finished a good third on seasonal debut in the Group 2 Bet 365 Mile last time out. Wilhelmina benefited from an inspired Frankie de Tory ride in Epsom's Group 3 Princess Elizabeth Stakes earlier this month and her previous second in the Group 2 Dahlia Stakes at Newmarket suggests she's up to this level. Wilhelmina and Wilhelmina has kicked away from Dance Diva and Shenanigans and then Lincoln Rocks with running on well down the outside Ananarium inside the final furlong it's Wilhelmina still by three lengths Ananarium is closing really well from Shenanigans but up to the line Wilhelmina is just gonna hold on Urban Fox relished the drop in class to win on her debut for the William Haggis stable last time out over this course. And the daughter of Fox Wedge was twice placed in Group 3 company when trained by James Tate. Urban Fox is unleashed by Danny Tato. Defender from Urban Fox. Tribute Act down the near side trying to join in. Defender is worn down by Urban Fox and Tribute Act joining them. And it was Urban Fox.
cracksman will need to perform better than his narrow Coronation Cup victory last time out, but he showed his liking for Ascot with an emphatic Champion Stakes win in October. Cracksman going further away from the field in the start of the mighty Frankham, and here is a champion. Cracksman wins the champion in fantastic style. The Sir Michael Stout trained poet's word followed up a good second in the Group 1 Shima Classic when landing the odds in the Brigadier Gerard Stakes. A race the trainer's stagecraft has also won before following up here in 1991. Up the hill, poet's word goes a length ahead. It's soon going to be a length and a half. Word is riding it out well and will win the Brigadier Gerard State in the hands of Ryan Moore. Hawkbill needs to bounce back from a poor run behind Cracksman in the Coronation Cup, but he has two Group 1s on his CV, including the 2016 Eclipse Stakes, immediately prior to which he also won Royal Ascot's Hampton Court Stakes. But it's Hawkbill and William Buick now who head down inside the final furlong and lead by a length and a half. Prize money in second, Long Island Sound is staying on down the centre in third position. Hawkbill tiring a little bit as he races towards the line, but it's Hawkbill and William Buick who win. Cliffs of Moher is the sole representative of last year's winning connections and would appear well held by Cracksman on champion stakes running, beaten 15 lengths. However, 12 months ago, he finished a neck in front of the Galston horse in the Derby, so a reproduction of that form would give him every chance. The annual cavalry charge, the Royal Hunt Cup, is as difficult to solve as ever. Charlie Hill saddles the likely race progressive four-year-old Affac, who wasn't beaten far in last season's Britannia over course and distance, was a good winner of a Class 2 handicap at York last time out. Here comes Affac to challenge him, though, and joins in and takes over. Inside the final one and a half, they go back in third. Larchmont Lad, one pace only for Kate Byron in fourth place. And Afac and Jim Crowley storming home here to win the Hamilton in tremendous style. Wins by a couple of lengths. Last season's winner, the Amanda Perra trained Zhu Fang, has only raced twice since. Most recently, when beaten a neck in this season's Victoria Cup at Ascot over a furlong shorter than he races over today. Right across the track, Gilgamesh coming through very strongly. Joy Fung, Ripoff is diving, and Ripoff might have got there. Last season's Britannia winner, Bless Him, has failed to fire in only two subsequent runs, including the Group 3 Supreme Stakes at Goodwood. His last of six on seasonal debut in a Nottingham handicap can be forgiven on account of the testing underfoot conditions on that occasion. Over on the far side, Bless Him has burst through to take it up there from Ronald R in the yellow jacket. It's the far side. Bless Him and Jamie Spencer in front as they race towards the line and win to Ronald R in second. Connections thought highly enough of Emirati to run him in last season's Group 1 Dewhurst Stakes, and he was only narrowly denied, giving away plenty of weight in a Goodwood handicap last month. Society Power begins to find his stride, and he's eating into the lead of Vale of Kent. Vale of Kent still has the lead. Society Power down the outside. Emirati is there, very close. 